Okay, folks, let's start the countdown. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and Happy New Year. Today I have a new video about the Eclipse RP600C and I'm going to show you uh, an unboxing and uh, a review and finally I'm going to show you some demo video for the testing of the speaker and we'll do all of that right after the intro. Alright guys, so this is the Eclipse RP600C, uh, it's uh, one of the high-end center channel speakers from the Eclipse lineup, premium lineup, and as usual it has the front magnetic cover which uh, runs in the family of Eclipse reference speakers as well as the RP speakers. Uh, it has a normal quality, it's made from plastic. And next we have, uh, let me read that for you, we have the one inch uh, titanium vented tweeter which is called the Tractrix horn and we have the dual uh, 6.5 uh, spun copper ceramic woofers and uh, we have uh, in the back, let me show you the back the base reflex firing uh, Tractrix port so this is how it looks like from the back this is the Tractrix uh, back reflex port and these are the banana jack ports as well I'm sure you guys are wondering what is my opinion about this center channel speaker and it really blew my brain because for, for so many years I have been using uh, I've, uh, I've honestly had two different uh, old center channel speakers however they were so small so let me show you one of my old uh, speakers which is this one look at the size difference between my old center channel and this new uh, center channel from Klepsch even the size of my hand look at the size difference and uh, look at the size difference here from this this uh, LG center channel speaker I've had some nice experiences with it however there's no comparison between these two because this one did not handle the mids and highs very well I never had a very nice experience in terms of the dialogues of movies or music in this speaker but I did sur survive with it and I had my moments and my joy uh, however uh, I guess it's, it was about time to like upgrade and I have always wanted to upgrade to a higher level sound system and I'm very close to finalizing my clip sound system as you can see I have the R41 here as my uh, surround speaker and I promise you guys if you have it as your surround you'll be really satisfied in case you have the same size that I have of the room as you can see here is my PC setup and in here I have my sound system and the TV uh, so uh, in terms of this speaker, when I tested it, the reason why it blew my mind is because it really had a very powerful bass. Uh, these woofers uh, were handling the lows in, an, in a very 
uh, new level uh, for my hearing because this uh, old speaker never had bass in it. However, I can play something on my sound system and this center speaker, I have never seen a center speaker that offers a really nice bass experience. However, it's not more powerful than a subwoofer. Of course, uh, if you have a big room, you can always use subwoofers, but in my case, I don't uh, turn on my sub subwoofer a lot because uh, I can tell that this speaker is really giving me a lot of fun in terms of the lows and the bass uh, when I don't want to like shake the room. Sometimes I just want to have a random listening or uh, just a small light listening without a subwoofer. I do have a subwoofer, but I only turn it on if like I have a, a big movie night or if I have a nice shaking experience. But uh, in terms of uh, normal listening, I'm telling you guys, if you hook this up with the uh, RP600Ms uh, from bookshelves, these uh, loud uh, bookshelf speakers from Clutch, they will really give you a nice experience if you have a mid-size or a small size room like mine. Um, I feel like I really don't need to turn on the subwoofer a lot. Uh, I don't know about you guys, this is just my opinion. And uh, by the way, I'm not getting paid by Clutch or any company to advertise this. I'm just doing this for fun and to help you guys have an idea about the speaker. And uh, um, what else can I tell you? It handled the dialogues uh, in a very crisp, uh, crisp clear experience. Uh, I've tested the Avengers Endgame movie. I've watched a few scenes uh, using the speaker. I've tested some music on it and some random TV shows at that. and uh, I'm really, really satisfied and now I understand why there was a very big hype about the Clutch RP600Ms and the RP600C and uh, I've seen a lot of good reviews about it which, which is why I've chosen this one. I was about to get the RP52C but, uh, but then I said why not go to the premium level since uh, my budget was fine in that time when I bought it so I don't regret purchasing it because I'm really having a lot of fun on it. I even tested Call of Duty Modern Warfare on my PC while playing uh, uh, on this speaker and trust me guys are gonna have a lot of fun if you play games on it. Moving on to the demos part. I'm going to play a few movie scenes and some other videos. Make sure that you wear a headset or use a sound system to watch the demos uh, uh, to have a closer experience to what I'm currently hearing in my room because this speaker has a high quality crisp clear sound and uh, it's amazing in terms of the mids and highs uh, it also handles the movie dialogues very very well and what shocked me even more is that it has a really powerful bass and a really really good with the lows uh, so sometimes I don't even need a subwoofer when I when I play something anyway so let's begin for courage and though we are worlds apart like us there's more to them than meets the eye i am optimus prime and i send this message to any surviving autobots taking refuge among the stars i got you boy hold on to the cube Stand. There was the cube. 
I live to serve you, Lord Megatron. Where is the cube? I am Optimus Prime. Alright guys, we have reached the end of this video and I'm going to also do another unboxing of the uh, Klipsch RP600Ms. So if you're interested in that kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned.